Thanks for joining us. Uh, prosecutors say a 21-year-old driver was high when he killed three Girl Scouts and a mother in Wisconsin. This is a picture of one of the girls, nine-year-old Jana Kelly. She died on Saturday. She, along with two, along with 10-year-old Autumn Helgeson, 10-year-old Haley Hickel, and her 32-year-old mother Sarah Jo Schneider. The girls were out picking up trash along a road in Lake Halley, Halley when a pickup truck hit them and then took off. Another 10-year-old Girl Scout was also hit. She's hospitalized in stable condition. Colton True turned himself into police after driving away. John Lortzen has more on why True's passenger says they went off the road. Colton True appeared in Chippewa County Court just after 11 o'clock this morning. He's facing multiple charges, including four counts of homicide by intoxicated use. This is Colton True. The court appearance lasted about six minutes, and during much of it, 21-year-old Colton True sat quietly with his hands folded as a prosecutor detailed what happened Saturday morning. He told the court that True and a friend went to Walmart and bought shotgun shells and a can of air duster. And on the way back, the, the way he was huffing the air duster, and um, the passenger notices that were coming down Highway P, that there were people on the side of the road, and notes that the vehicle was veering towards that side of the road. The passenger told police that True looked like he was out of it, so they grabbed the steering wheel to try and bring the truck back onto the road. They said that True became angry, grabbed the steering wheel back, overcorrected, and drove into the ditch near the Highway 29 overpass. The truck hit and killed 9-year-old Jana Kelly and 10-year-old Autumn Helgeson, both of Lake Halley. Also killed were 10-year-old Haley Hickel of Chippewa Falls and her mom, 32-year-old Sarah Jo Schneider. Police say True never stopped and tried to hide the truck in a garage. The truck in the vehicle in the garage had another um, the other vehicle that I'm put behind it to, to hide the identity of where the, the truck may be. Um, and then he proceeded to go to a party with some friends. After a vigil for the victims on Sunday night, Jana Kelly's father, Brian, wrote on his Facebook page, Thank you to all the friends, family, co-workers, students, and complete strangers that came to the candlelight vigil tonight. I've never seen anything like it. If I'm honest, one of my predominant emotions has been anger. The vigil made me peaceful. I am thankful to whoever organized it. A judge set True's bond at $250,000, calling him a flight risk. Another girl that was hit in this accident was initially in critical condition, but has since been upgraded to stable. In Chippewa Falls, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Authorities tell us that True faces pending charges for a similar incident last fall when he rolled his vehicle in Rusk County. The district attorney says investigators found marijuana and meth at that scene.